50,000 people used to live here. A wonderful place to live. Hi, my name is Freak and I'll be your trip advisor today for the great place of Chernobyl. Check out that scenery. Doesn't it just take your breath away? <coughs> Come to Chernobyl today and take a dip in our beautiful sunlit pool. Pool does not offer any water since the radiation evaporates it within seconds. After that divine experience, take a fun ride on our horses and explore the land of the devil himself. Finally, at the end of your trip, if you are feeling all warm and fuzzy inside like I know that you are with your loved one, get a radiation wedding today! It may cause cancer and any other bodily harms. Multiple contact! Yes! <laughs> Fuck off! You guys have no idea how badly I want a COD 4 remake and it's happening because as you guys can see on my screen, I got hacked and this happened a long time ago. And, uh, I want to actually be able to play with weapons. You know, that'd be a nice thing, just to be able to play with my weapons and my perks that I actually want to unlock and actually do unlock, but I'll never be able to use them because someone hacked me and just basically gave me the shittiest things in the game. Yeah, that happened to me. So anyways, yeah, uh, we're gonna be talking about things that I want in Call of Duty 4 Remastered and what I think would actually make this game literally the best Call of Duty ever. Not saying that it wasn't, but for its time it was. But nowadays, if you just brought back the same COD 4 and just updated the graphics, it would not fit in with how Call of Duty feels today. And yeah, I'm gonna hear some people in the comment section, oh my god, freak, you're gonna try to change COD 4 to make it something stupid? No, I'm not. I'm trying to make it amazing. I'm trying to make it, you know, what it should be. And I have some ideas today. So obviously, perks that need to be removed, Martyrdom, Stopping Power, Juggernog, Last Stand, Eavesdrop, Sonic Boom, Double Tap. A lot of you guys probably have not even played Call of Duty enough to even know that those were perks back in the day. If you hopped on COD 4 and had all these perks, trust me, you would rage quit and hate the game forever. Yeah, we had to deal with it back in the day. We got shit on by nades and stopping power and juggernaut going into last stand. That shit was so annoying. Eavesdrop never even used. Sonic Boom never even used. And Double Tap was not even used either because people just used stopping power. Yeah, that was, that was the gist of it, basically. And I would like to swap this out with a Pick 10 system because the Pick 10 system has worked perfectly since Black Ops 2. I don't know why Infinity Ward likes to mess around with it. Just keep it the pick 10 system. It works the best. It worked best in uh, AW even that a perk the pick 13 system. Just get rid of that. Pick 10 system is all we need. So basically just modernize the creative class setup. <laughs> modernize. Modern Modern Warfare remastered. <laughs> yeah, I'm not funny. So uh, I would like to add a also slide animation to the Call of Duty 4 remaster just because it's such a nice little animation uh, to the movement scheme of Call of Duty and I actually hate it when it's not in there. I find myself trying to slide in old Call of Duties. I know it's not a huge thing but I feel like it makes the movement a little bit cleaner than just kind of going prone or uh, crouch. I feel like it just makes the movement a little bit faster too. And also with this, I'd like a faster run speed. I know it's a little bit sloggy and sloshy on COD 4. Maybe it really doesn't need to be boosted. Maybe that's just me. Maybe I'm just used to faster FPS style games. It doesn't really need to be moved or messed around with too much, but I would like to see a little bit faster of a movement speed. And I would like to keep the bold frickin' yellow numbers that pop up on the screen. Whatever happened to this? I know a lot of people that don't even play Call of Duty haven't even played Call of Duty since they had these yellow numbers in. And believe me, these were the greatest things ever. Just seeing that plus whatever pop up on your screen, it made you feel good that you got that kill. So I really wish they'd bring that back. Probably won't happen. But if they did bring that back, nostalgia will be rolling in my pants. I'm just saying. Also, score streaks or kill streaks. It doesn't really matter what they bring back. It can be score streaks or kill streaks. I'm really fine with either. Uh, score streaks kind of just make uh, the OBJ players play a little bit more, and kill streaks just kind of make people camp sometimes. Um, but that's just up to preference here. And I would like to be able to select three of my choices for kill streak or score streak because I feel like that's what Call of Duties need nowadays. And if they actually brought back just the UAV, the uh, uh, what was it, the airstrike and the helicopter, I feel like a lot of people 
won't like this as much because there's not a lot of stuff to go for. There's not like a Moab. There's not a nuke. Uh, there's not like an AC-130. And I feel like if they brought those kill streaks into the game, this game would be molded and crafted into the most beautiful Call of Duty game we have ever seen before. Just basically taking everything that we love, putting into one game. And on that same subject, I would like to bring fan favorite maps and weapons from Modern Warfare series into this game. Just imagine if you were playing Call of Duty 4 Remastered, there's an Intervention, uh, there's an ACR, there's a Scar H, there's all these great weapons just put into this game, all from the Modern Warfare series, and you're playing it on Call of Duty Modern Warfare. That would just blow my mind. And also adding in, like, the maps. Say you want Rust on there, you want Afghan, uh, you want, uh, let's see, a high rise, something like that. Just all these maps they could actually put into this would be fantastic. And not only COD 4 maps, because COD 4 maps are pretty good, but molding these all together, basically just making it a collection, but not really a collection. It's just basically Modern Warfare remastered with all the greatest things that were from the Modern Warfare franchise. I think this would just make it a full molded version of what we want for a remastered version of Call of Duty 4. And also, I gotta add one thing in here that nobody knows about unless you played Call of Duty 4 and World at War. We need final kill cams. Son of a bitch. I want to see people doing bill cams. I want to see crazy knack shots off of buildings. And I just want to see this in the kill cam. That's seriously all I want to see and maybe just, you know, do that. And I, I think this game would be pretty solid. So that's just my opinion. Let me know in the comment section. And uh, who's hyped for Call of Duty 4 Remastered on next gen and freaking PC? The greatest time to ever be a Call of Duty player is now and forevermore.